I wanted to make those cycloid clock gears. But when I started with FreeCAD, this is what I got. So I'm going to show you how I customized the gears. In the involute gears, there's a head feature that allows to extend the, the teeth. And I tried to put it in the cycloid, but I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to show you here. So that's the dimension of a cycloid gear. And I did some change in the code. That's the code. You can see the pitch diameter, the diameter at the top of the teeth and at the root of the teeth. And then I used the clearance to change the size of the teeth. To increase the clearance. Here you can see how the teeth are getting longer and longer. And that's too long. So if I run the gears, that's how they mesh. So I'm going to change the generating circle. That's for the inner part of the teeth. For a clock gear with straight flank, the inner diameter is half the pitch diameter. And for the pinion, it's going to be the opposite values. 6 for the inner diameter and 36 for the outer diameter. You can now have the straight flank teeth. But you can see this interference. And there as well. So the first thing, I'm going to add some backlash. No, I don't have a formula, it's just by trying. So this gave me 0.2 millimeter. That's just on one gear. So I'm going to do the other one. And then the value I found that worked not quite enough yet. Increase it a little bit. That should work if I want to 3D print them. Now I need to correct the formula so the teeth actually touch each other. Okay, that looks about right. A tiny bit. There, I can run. There's still some interference, so now I'm going to change the outer diameter of the tooth. I'm going to make it smaller. 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 Okay, I have some clearance. Still need to change for the output. So go to the other gear and also reduce the diameter. And that's starting to look pretty good. That's the values I have. Okay, now I'm going to finish with the clearance, making longer teeth, so I have the pointy shape that I wanted. And start here. So I'm going to increase a little bit more. And then for the pinion, nice looking teeth. Let's just have a look at how our involute gear meshes. The whole tooth slides against the other tooth. And very little friction here. I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.